when you're doing something as complicated as making pizza with robots, there's a million little details. So I'm eating a pizza that was made by a team of robots. What we're doing here really is a first. No one's ever done anything quite like this before. Zoom Pizza is the brainchild of Alex Garden. He's a Silicon Valley entrepreneur on a mission to disrupt the pizza delivery business by using mostly robots. The journey starts at the top of the line when your order comes in. It's a seamless system which allows computers and humans to work together, but it starts with somebody taking that dough that gets pressed and then spun and then put on the line. The sauce is dispensed and then our first robot, we nicknamed her Marta, and she spreads your sauce carefully and she spreads it perfectly but not too perfectly so it looks just like an artisan product. As it moves down the line it gets the cheese applied and the toppings applied and then another robot, his name is Bruno, carefully takes the dough that's covered in toppings and gently without disturbing it takes it off the line and then moves it into an 850 degree double decker oven. But this oven is just to pre-bake the delicate pie. What will make Zoom Pizza truly automated and the reason Garden says his startup will change the industry is that Zoom plans to cook its pizzas on the road while they're being driven to the customer in these 56 tiny little ovens. If you cook the pizza while it's being delivered, not only do you get the freshest pizza possible, uh, but you also shave a bunch of time off of the process. Best tasting pizza in the country delivered in 15 minutes for the same price as any of the other chains. That's a pretty cool business. Presses the button, door comes open, presses the button again, and your pizza is ejected. The driver never touches the food. Perfect slices of pizza. Before designing his new age delivery trucks, Garden was president of studios for video game giant Zynga. In 2015, he left the corporate world behind and began building prototypes in a garage in Mountain View. What you see around me here is our on-site machine and fabrication shop. We use it virtually every day when we need a thing that no one's ever done before. I've made prototypes for all of our racks that load in and out of the trucks, all of our pizza delivery bags. We've made hundreds of little widgets that help the robots with different tasks. We've built the circuit boards that powered all of our initial prototype ovens. The fabric of the company that we built started uh, in this room. Garden may seem like a mad scientist combining his love of pizza and robots into a strange obsession, but don't be fooled. There's a lot of profit in robot-made pizza. Imagine a business that you already understand, like one of the major pizza franchises. Imagine that business with virtually no labor. It would be like Domino's without the labor component. And you can start to see how incredibly profitable that can be. For now, there are still more humans and robots working at Zoom. And that doesn't count the many, many contractors who are trying to get the startup fully running. It's going to be a very, very long time before machines reach a point where they can do everything that a person could do. I mean, probably not in my lifetime. It is an economic inevitability that certain types of jobs are, will be replaced by machines and by AI. Because it's starting to realize that this isn't about pizza. You could have, in our case, robots that cook pizza, but you could just as easily have robots that make frozen yogurt, robots that do soda, uh, robots that make salads. And ultimately, if we do this job well, you can sit in your park with your feet up and decide that you're really in the mood for a crispy Peking duck in a warm picnic basket with a nice bottle of Chianti and it will just show up. That's pretty cool.